Doyle shoots and scores! Colin Doyle gets the rock on the board in the first minute. Saturday night's home opener, the Rock at home at the Air Canada Centre, and Colin Doyle will get things started for the home side. He will spin off his check down low, and he will beat Matt Disher to give Toronto a 1-0 lead early on. However, that lead wouldn't last long. Edmonton would tie it up, and then Ryan Ward will set the little pick up high, and then he will beat Bob Watson to give Edmonton a 2-1 edge. But that lead as well wouldn't last long. Colin Doyle's shot is stopped at the other end of the floor by Matt Disher, then Aaron Paskus will take the feed from Blaine Manning, and he will find rope behind Matt Disher, and that will tie things to two after one. Garrett Billings with the big outside shot. No match for Disher, and The Rock have themselves a 3-2 edge. They'll keep building on that, though, as Casey Bearden steps up, sets the hard pick, and then goes down low to beat Disher in the Edmonton cage, and it's 4-2. Great ball movement here. Something you want to teach the kids at home, and Stefan LeBlanc will finish it off on the near side to make it 5-2. That lead evaporated, though, with a score 5-4. Ryan Ward with a little hop in his step will tie things up at 5 in the second quarter. But again, The Rock will get things cooking. A long shot that goes wide, and then Aaron Paskus will go cross-handed to finish, and Beef Disher will take another look at this one, picks up that ball off the end boards, and then bounces it underneath the Edmonton goalkeeper to make it 6-5. Manning, his shot doesn't go, but Stefan LeBlanc is right there to cash in with his second of the game to make it 7-5. Colin Doyle then will swoop in, pick up the loose ball, feed Garrett Billings on the crease, and that made it 8-5. It was 8-6 at the half. On to the second half. Blaine Manning will find Stefan LeBlanc, who will just go straight to the goal for his third of the game, and that gave Toronto a 9-6 lead early. Not much scoring in the quarter until the late going when Garrett Billings throws the circle change pass to Blaine Manning. He will find some net. 10-6 onto the fourth quarter. A little defense here for the Rock and some transition as Mike Hobbins will run the floor, draws Brody Merrill to him, and then dumps off to Patrick Merrill, who finishes as the Rock D get into the act. That made the score 11 to 6, and then Casey Behrens gets his second goal of the game, giving the Rock a six goal edge up 12 to 6. But with the score 12 7, the Rock D gets in on it again as Drew Petkoff, he's got eyes for the net here. It's an empty net goal officially. Matt Disher was getting back on the floor, but it's Petkoff's first of his career. And what does he say about the Rock win? Well, folks, it's just absolutely delicious, says Drew Petkoff. The Toronto Rock win their home opener by a score of 13 to 7 over the Edmonton Rush. The Rock will travel to Rochester on Saturday night to take on the Nighthawks. Game time is 7:30. A game that can be seen live on TSN2. Doyle shoots and scores! Colin Doyle gets the rock on the board in the first minute.